Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and Evelyn. Oh, I only got one side of your buckle, so you can't get up. Me and Evelyn are headed into an estate sale on a very rainy Thursday morning. And somebody just commented in the comments, the baby's going to think that dad having a YouTube channel and going to Goodwill every day is a normal thing. Well, I started I to to today too. I started this channel when she was four months old, so she's grown up that way too. Right? Dad's always had a YouTube channel and and gone to Goodwill every day. Yeah. Okay, let me unbuckle your seat. We'll go inside and see what there is. Yeah. It's still raining and it's fogging up my lens. Miss Sue, who works at these estate sales, she's going to be excited to see you. This is blown apart, but it looks like it used to be cool. Hey, how about the monster machines? How about a couple of R2-D2 phones for $6? They look like they're maybe missing the handset, but they're cool. Sony Walkman. CD players, three of them. That one's really thin. Any cool VHS? Probably not. I was too late it's for that. Sold. Yeah. Can I go on the other side of the bed? Yeah. There's just the big bike sickle. Yeah. That can help you out. I don't know, Ron. What do you think? Uh. Mm. Oh, there's more stuff outside. I like these hats. Oh, well, we'll have to go out there and see what there is. She's four. <laughs> Just started preschool. <laughs> say thank you. Thank you. Pretty dark in the back rooms. Looks like a room that would have been set up to have like table lamps. Oh, wait, maybe that has a light. Yeah. It didn't do us a lot of good. I wonder if these cassettes are anything. Probably not. Oh, hmm. Dad, can you get this back? No, you don't need that break. Looks like a PEX tool. I know it's not because it's old, but. So just out here in the garden shed, which is enormous, I see this for two bucks and it's a metal oil can. So that's a really good piece. So these are rags, but I'm gonna throw them just in case. So I'm hard at work getting the stuff down for the coffee maker and then we're going to do the toaster close a dollar unless otherwise marked so i found this for six bucks it's a basically new and a really beat up box and it should sell for like 35 bucks and then this is interesting i don't know if it's worth anything but i'm gonna see this is a crowd here man so there's one yard sale and this estate sale today. So we're gonna go, we've been to this yard sale before and I have some stuff from this yard sale the last time we were here that I still have. 
but I made a bunch of money on some stuff, so we'll see. I'm a little more picky than I was the last time we were here, too. Hmm. St. Louis, Missouri with the uh, Clydesdales. Yes, love. Um, not right now. Okay. You can stay with dad a minute. Whoa. Okay. That's a crazy looking shirt. Can we go get the big leaf? The big leaf? Yeah. Yeah, bring it back over here. Oh, that's nice. Let me grab that. That's cool. Do you see what I see? Two bucks. Crazy tea. Yes. Virgin wool. Made in the U.S. Are you kidding me? Look at that. They're not selling that dirty leaf that you just picked up? So this is new with Tag Fabletics for $75 and it's five. So I'm going to scan it because I don't know anything about Fabletics, but I know I've heard the term before. What? So these are not like old, they're new, but this one looks to be new, new, but they are the mountain new hoodies. So I'm going to get all three of those for 10 for 10 bucks. In a minute, dad's, dad's getting all kinds of stuff. To look at those pants. They kind of look Ed Hardy. Oh, they are. Three bucks. Let me see. So, I'm um, doing really, really well on clothes. But I, uh, this is a British? It's not British. British territory, but I don't remember which one. Yard flag. I think we're probably going to take this. I almost didn't even buy anything at that garage sale because the lady corrected Evelyn. And she, she picked up a stuffed animal and was looking at it. And the lady told her to put it, please put it down. And... If I didn't know I was making several hundred dollars and never have to transact with this person again, I would have just left without any of it. Don't correct somebody else's kids. If she's doing something wrong, talk to me about it. Um, but I got a hundred dollar Maleficent for 20 bucks. I got a bunch of clothes that'll make a bunch of money. And I never have to look at this lady again. So. I didn't yell at her. I didn't uh, freak out and leave without buying stuff, which was my, yeah, I almost did. I got to the end of the driveway and I'm like, you know what? Her being a jerk doesn't mean I don't need to make money. Dad, can you come back for just a second? To talk to my video? Yeah. Okay. Hi. Okay, we're gonna I go to- I love these days. You love these days when you get to go garage sailing with dad? All right. Buckle up, and we're going to go but to the Dad next sale. Talk to me, Dad. I don't know what their name is. Oh, you don't talk to people you don't know what their name is? Yeah. I, I know. I know. All the girls love that. Uh, I only have boys. Elsa, I would have bought it. <laughs> well, that's my daddy. <laughs> Weird Dragon, $19.99. Peppa. Crazy alien thing in the background. It's a really good looking joker figure. I suspect these are better than I know. Heavy Dawn. Hey, come back over here by Dad, babe. We will look together over there. Whoa, 
So these are both three prints, but at a dollar a piece, I think they're pretty awesome. So Abby found a wand, and it's not every day you find a rugby ball at a yard sale for 50 cents. So this is a vintage Pendleton made in the U.S. I don't know how vintage exactly it is. This tag doesn't look super vintage. This tag looks kind of vintage, but this is a really nice piece. It's going to sell super well, I think. Three bucks. We got uh, new. Like this indicates to me that it's new. The, the Mountain is going to be the brand on this. And those have historically done really well for me. This hanger's crazy. Size medium. I tried to see the date on it, and I or this says size small. Out here it says medium, but uh, small. It's a really nice one. I couldn't see the date on it, but it's that's gonna do super well. Same deal here. This is new. Uh, women's the mountain. Let's see if this one. Oh, 2013. Again, the mountain size small. And then this one is another The Mountain 2014. I don't think these are from then. These That's where the prints are. This Yin Yang Wolf thing. I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice the black bottom guy. I just saw this and the moon. That's going to do super well. Size small. This is all embroidered vintage. Uh, made in the U.S., Santee Heavyweight. I'm not familiar with that at all. For a buck. And then this one was made in Hawaii, I think. Uh, yeah, Crazy Stitch. $2. Uh, I don't know if it's vintage or not. It looks like maybe it has a date. Nope, that just says Crazy Shirts. But that's going to sell really well with these uh, stylized orcas and the sea turtle. Made in China. So it's not, this is not vintage, but it's a cool piece. It'll do fine. These were a different sale. A buck a piece on the uh, Scarface with the cool back hit. He loved the American dream with a vengeance. Tony Montana. And this is a men's medium. It's a uh, reprint of the original Matrix shirt. Probably not worth much, but for a buck, it'll sell. This is the Hawaiian flag. And this company, Duralite, these do really well generally. I can't find, I found one of these listed brand new for 30 bucks. I can't find any sold or any listed, but there's only one in pre-owned. And then there's only one listed and it's brand new. I imagine it'll sell. And I paid... I think I paid 50 cents for it. I paid $3 for these. The other day, you may recall, I spent 99 cents a piece on the mugs. Well, this is the creamer and sugar for the same set. And so I think pairing these with those will do really, really well. For three bucks, I think that really upped my investment. Spending a little bit of bad money on good money. Good money on bad money. But basically, I paid $3 for these and they will sell. And I'm going to put the coffee mugs that I bought the other day for 99 cents a piece with them to up the value of the whole thing. $1 Starbucks coffee mugs. These You Are Here collection does really well. Um, Las Vegas, New Orlando, and New Orleans. All really nice condition. 2014. These I bought for the kids, but I've never actually held a rugby ball before. And I know at least Asher is going to geek out about having a rugby ball. And then me and Judah play th catch at my dad's house whenever we go over there and they and one of the cousins brings a football. But we don't actually have a full-size nice football. And this is holding air. It just needs more air in it. So I bought those for the boys. There must have been something up with my camera because I thought I got a lot more footage at that estate sale than I did you didn't see me go into the kitchen and look at the uh, hanging um, coffee maker and toaster oven, but I did. I went and looked at them, and I'm like, those are cool. And then I went out to the garage and looked at all those tools, picked up a couple of screwdrivers, came in and got those off hanging off the wall. 
And so this one is has the handle glued back on and is quite a mess, but in good shape, this is $90. I suspect I'll probably still get 40 or 50 and I have all the hardware for it. And this one I have all the hardware for and it just needs like, you know, general maintenance cleaned up. I paid $4. These space makers do crazy well. So I was excited to find this. I don't know. I think this is probably $60 plus shipping, but I'll put a comp up. This hat, um, quarter, I like corduroy hats. Notre Dame, there's a high school around here named Notre Dame. So you find a lot of good vintage Notre Dame pieces. The cord by Sports Specialties is, the cord isn't necessarily great, a great line by Sports Specialties, but Sports Specialties is a very desirable hat. This is University of Notre Dame official. And this, the only ones I could find listed were as high as like $90 and up. There were two or three listed. I don't know if that's going to clean up or if that's, I think if I scratch at it a minute, it'll clean up. It's dirty. I think this is a $50, $60 hat all day long. Um, but the ones that are listed currently are much higher than that. Quite surprised to find this for $2.00. Amsoil is a pretty obscure oil brand. Um, and this is a metal can. And so it's old. Uh, cool piece. Something you don't see very often. I think it's probably 25 plus shipping. These R2-D2s I paid six bucks a piece for. They're supposed to have the handset that goes and sets here. Neither of them have them. This one works, but even so, I don't, I, I think what will probably happen is I'll put one on a shelf and I'll sell the other one to break even on the pair. Not a great pickup, but I was jazzed to find them. And then I made a poor decision, <laughs> which happens sometimes. These were $2 a piece, and like I told my buddy Alex already, like, if these, they're all Sony brand. There's three of them. I don't see the third one right this minute. So I told him, even if it ends up that none of them work, at 6 bucks, I bet I can sell them for uh, parts at break-even. But probably one of them will work, and I'll make a little bit of money. This one had Puff Daddy CD in it. Not worth a lot, but... If it had had the case, I would have bought the CD for sure. And it was a throw-in. These are the cassettes I ended up getting. I thought, I told you guys, like I said, I thought I got a lot more uh, footage at that estate sale. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Buddy Holly, Cat Stevens, Willie Nelson, and John Denver. I've never seen this as a cassette case before. And so I picked these two up mostly out of a curiosity for what they are. I mean, they're full-length albums just in a cardboard case instead of a the, what became a standard case. So, and these are paper label, paper, paper label cases, uh, CD tapes, unlike these later ones that would have essentially screen printed. These are paper printed labels, so that makes them older. Um, some of these might be pretty desirable. I just picked them up because they were cheap and they were the... Uh, they were the right genre, and they were cheap. I think I paid 50 cents a piece for them. This thing, who knows, is not worth anything to use, but it's a, somebody who's collecting OG Xbox would probably like to have this in the box. The box isn't in great shape, but it's in there. It's all in there. Um, so we'll see how it does. I think it's... I paid 6 bucks. It opens. I think it's probably... I think it's probably 20 plus shipping complete in the box. Hardware and the manual. Having a hard time coming up with this exact model. So I'm going to do some more digging. But I paid 6 bucks, and I think it's at least 30 And that's not the kind of thing that I normally deal with. A sprinkler timer, but it was in the box. It was cheap. So I kind of did some preliminary looking up on it. And it uh, looks like they do sell. A lot of them sell. So this particular model probably will also sell, and I'll mark it for 35 if I don't uh, find a good comp that tells me to mark it higher. And that's everything except for this right here.
which looks like it has a chip in it that I did not see. Oh, that's aggravating. It's broken. I did not notice that until just now. Well, shoot. Her wand is still there and it's unbroken and she's numbered. So this was a hundred dollar piece. Probably I spent, I spent uh, 20. It's probably still 60. There's another break. Dag gone. Man, I should have looked. I thought I looked at it thoroughly and I saw that line. I just thought it was part of the art. Um, dang. But it's still a rare sought after piece. And so somebody will take it in that shape. Um, but it probably went from 100 to 60 pretty quickly. Um, and it was obviously like that when I bought it. Um, and I just didn't notice it. I don't think it got chipped on the way home because it's kind of glued back up. Funko Pops in the $2.99 bin at Goodwill. Disney Funko Pops in the $2.99 bin at Menards.